Hello and welcome everyone to this new video of showing you advanced features of Nosby 2.0, the new version of Nosby. In the last video I showed you how to create a new project, how to add tasks, actions into projects, nodes, files, how to manage them, how to move them from one project to another. In this video I'll show you more advanced features of Nosby, where you'll be able to uncover the power of Nosby to help you get more done. Here in my Nosby account I have three projects. Let's go to a uh, Nosby 2.0 project. As you can see, I have three actions. And uh, actually, Nosby blog posts doesn't really sound like an action because there are more blog posts that I will want to post. According to getting things done, I should make it a project with more actions uh, as blog posts. In Nosby, there's a very quick way of converting an action into a project. When I click on the action, I can see all the action details. And here, there's a small link, convert to project. When I click on this link, Nosby will ask me if I really want to create this new project. When I click OK, what happens is that the action disappears and a new project is being created and I can already add actions to it. So let's write a first action. OK, so I have my new project created. As you can see, it was very easy. One click and an action was converted into project. If you want to see more options for a project, just click on the info here. I can remove the project, complete the project. When I complete the project, it goes to my completed projects list. Edit to edit the project info. Let's add some info here. You can change the name, add a description. Uh, let's save the information. I have two Nosby related projects in my sideline, and I want to group them together. We have something like labels in Nosby, very similar to the labels that you have in Gmail. Let's add a label called Nosby. And as you can see, I have a new label here called Nosby in project labels. Let's go to the Nosby 2.0 project and add a label there as well. If I just click on the Nosby label, I can only see my Nosby related projects in the project list. If I click on show projects, I can see all of my projects here. So for example, if I want to review all of my and Nosby related projects. I just click on Nosby. I can click between these two projects. And if I want to review all of them, I can just click on projects and I can see all the actions from both of the projects here. Now let's get back to our Nosby blog. If I want to write the Nosby blog with someone, for example, I can share this project with someone. I just click here on invite people to share the project and just type any email of a person I want to invite and let's save it and as you can see Nosby detected that there is a person called Sarah with this Nosby account and and she has not confirmed yet that she accepted the project now when she logs in she will see an invitation to, to share a project with me and when she accepts it we can share the project together and as you can see there are three more icons here print the project and we have three options for you to print on a letter sized or A4 document sheet, on a pocket size or wallet size, so you can put your actions into your wallet. It's very easy. When you just click on one of the options and the list is being prepared just as you want it, and just click on print this page. So now I went back to my Nosby 2.0 uh, project. When I click on info, I can also use email with the project. So here you can email your notes and actions to Nosby. How do I do that? Go to settings and go to your nickname and pin. Add nickname. I use my uh, Twitter name as my nickname. And pin 1234, but please use a more secure pin. Now, when I go back to Nosby 2.0, on email there it is you can email your actions and notes to Nosby it's my nickname dot pin dot product name if you want just to email to Nosby to the first project that you have for example to your inbox just go with nickname dot pin Nosby us and to read more about emailing just click on this link with Nosby you can drag and drop for example actions just drag and drop them to change their priority but you can also move stuff between projects for example if I want to move the videos for Nosby action 
to uh, a different project I can click here and choose a project or the easy way I can just drag it and drop on the project I want there you go so when I click on nosb blog you can see that the new action is here if I want to add a context to an action I can do the same thing I can just add a context choose the one I want or the easy way I can just move the action to the context I want and there you go if I want to schedule something and drag it here for tomorrow and as you can see I'll do the videos for Nosby for tomorrow the cool new thing for Nosby is that you can schedule stuff for example for this week let's move and schedule this for this week there you go it's for this week if I click on the calendar I can see that I have plans for this week videos for Nosby and brainstorm show ideas for tomorrow let's go to our Nosby blog as you can see in the info Sarah has already accepted our project so she's there and she, she, she can see the same actions that we can see the cool thing is for example that I want her to do the videos so when I click on the videos for Nosby I can delegate to anyone so and I go to Sarah and now I cannot take the action I cannot make it done because her icon is here because she's right now responsible for uh, for doing the videos for Nosby when I do that this action becomes her next action so she knows that I just gave her an action to do thank you for watching this short video of showing you the more advanced features of Nosby I encourage you to play around add more projects create more labels to manage these projects in the next video I'll talk to you about a cool thing that we have multi-user accounts for example here I have a single user account and um, I shared the project with another single account user Sarah but if you click on account you can see that we have multi-user team accounts like family for six users team for 15 business for 40 and max for 100 if you have a small team or a family or a big team or a company and you want to get stuff done together I encourage you to go and check these accounts because apart from the cool advanced Nosby features there are even more team oriented features in the new Nosby so till the next video uh, and thank you very much for watching